One of my biggest keys to perfect contact in the sand is creating a slightly steeper angle of descent that still allows you to take only a shallow cut of sand. From here, I like to think about a little tip I call fold and throw. When I'm referring to fold, what I want you to do is make your backswing and actually let your arms fold up and into your body. Here, the left arm is bent, my wrists are fully hinged, my right arm is actually behind my body just a little bit. When I'm folding up, what I'm actually doing is narrowing the arc of my swing. If I create a narrower swing arc, what I'm going to get is more of a downward strike that allows me to strike more consistently just a little bit behind the ball. A big problem for people in the bunker is when they get too wide. They can either get wide by moving their weight to the right, they can get wide by not creating any hinge, they can get wide by actually pushing their arms away. If you get too wide, you're going to come in way too shallow and strike way too far behind your golf ball. So the backswing element is creating fold. Once we've folded, now we have to add the element of throw. When we're throwing, what we're actually trying to do is almost feel a right hand motion where you would be throwing the club head past the handle through the impact zone. When you throw, the head passes the handle and that creates the bounce we're looking for. The leading edge stays higher than the trailing edge. We have maximum loft, making these shots come out high, soft, and spinning. So when you get in the sand, think about some fold. Arms in close, get narrow, add some throw at the bottom, and swing away.